What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to my personal therapy session where I beat my demons down by lifting heavy things. Today, push day, part two of the program. It's going to be a great workout. So, yeah, let's get into it. I hated that. All right, so as you guys might recall, um, I decided that I'm going to be doing at least uh, one weak point day to hit my shoulders primarily. And then I wasn't 100% sure if I was going to hit uh, shoulders again on the weak point day or if I was going to do chest. Um, I think... I'm going to switch kind of back and forth. So on week, on arm and weak point day number one, I'm going to be doing uh, a shoulder heavy exercise like I did this time. But I think I'm going to hit chest on the next weak point. So like weak point number two. That's because today's workout is pretty shoulder dominant and the first pu push workout of this week is very chest dominant so yeah we're gonna be hitting two different weak points i'm pretty excited about that actually so first things first dumbbell shoulder press so you know we have to have these straps because my wrists have been feeling better but also don't want to take the risk for the wrist I don't know exactly how heavy I'm going to be going on this, but I know it's going to be more than 25. <sighs> All right. <laughs> Let's try our hand at sixties. <clears throat> probably going to go up about five to ten more pounds. Honestly, the struggle is more getting it up rather than actually pressing it. Yeah. 70s. Not 100% sure I'm going to actually get these up. I'm going to try maybe a swing and curl. That feels maybe good. Ugh. Seventies are where I'm gonna stay. Not gonna lie, shoulders are not looking too terrible in this lighting. Uh, I am not mad about it.
going for 70s again. This is my last set. The second set that you just saw was a little rough. Um, but we're still going to get 12 because that's what we're... We're here to freaking not play games, baby. We're just here to get games, not play games. Games, not games. That's going to be my new slogan. Be on the lookout for the t-shirt in a few years when I have the following to actually justify making a t-shirt. <laughs> Were they a little fast? Yes. But did we get 12? Hell yeah, we did. Feeling good. Uh, hello, vein. I think. I think that's a vein. I don't know. What are you? <laughs> Whew. Whew. Almost lost it. That's done. <clears throat> All right. Not bad. I think we got a little bit of a decline situation going on now. All right. Going for three sets of eight. Ugh, decline. Um, let's see. I think I need to put this down just a smidge. Yeah, that feels better. All right. Three sets of ten. This is just my warm up. Shouldn't be too bad. So I'm going to warm up a couple more. I'm going to throw a plate on each time, hit a set of 10 after like a minute or two break. So there you go. Super cool. Okay, I don't know if this is where I'm going to end, if I'm going to be going down from this, but I just did three plates relatively easily. All right, let's turn on some Celine Dion and let's get into this. <sighs> <sighs> well, uh, that, uh, was in no stretch of the imagination a, an RP of 10. And that was like with zero break. Oh, what the f God, first f***ing rep, this glue comes on done and now it starts spinning. Right, I don't think I've ever hit five plates before. Uh, yeah. All right, Ugh. never done this before. Yep. 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 Yep.
Yeah. Uh, they need a seatbelt on this thing. <laughs> cool. All right. Well. Yeah. Probably for like three or four if I could fit it on there. Actually, you know what? I've seen guys like throw it onto here before. I mean, maybe I'll try. Yeah, why not? Because, yeah. That was a solid take. That was a solid take. Probably get six to shake it. Yeah. I'd shake it. <laughs> Never gone above really four plates before, but I uh, am now six plates in. As you guys can see, maybe, I have uh, the uh, thigh bands that people use to kind of isolate their glutes doing some side steps and um, bridges and hip thrusts and all that stuff. So I have six plates on each side, thigh bands on each side. Got myself a belt to strap myself in. Ugh. See if I can at least, because one of the problems that I had with the last one was I started lifting off the off the bench. Unfortunately, I don't think I have a big enough band or uh, strap to actually get all the way around my waist to keep myself down. So this is just, this is honestly just a fun, a fun challenge for me. This isn't anything like I'm going to be upset if I don't hit the Rep range, and because it's such a high load, uh, I'm uh, I would be happy if I just got it a couple times. Whew. All right, I gotta figure out, I gotta get a good song on this. Okay, going for an oldie but a goodie, some overhead bar tricep extension. So, unfortunately, the problem that we had that we fixed with those skull crushers that we did the other day, unfortunately, can't get rid of those. Uh, can't have that solution for this one. So, got to do a stupid twist. Like, it's just cool. Sometimes people just train to just, like, because they enjoy it. I was doing, uh, I think we picked up four or five, and I think we just picked up two. Well, unfortunately, my microphone died. Uh, basically, up until the end of the video. I didn't realize this until literally the next day. Um, so I did some tricep extensions. I went up to about 190 pounds for three sets. Definitely an RPE of 10, to say the least. It was really hard to do the twisting and, and the actual full extension. Um, what you see here uh, is the first time I've ever done vacuums for a program. Uh, it was two sets, uh, 10 to 15 seconds. Um, I'm not used to this, so I only held my breath for a total of 10 seconds per set. Um, you'll see here that I definitely have some weight to lose, but, you know, I'm starting to see the obliques come in. It's a pretty good time. Um, up next, we have some full ROM lateral raises. Uh, you'll see me... Uh, at the very beginning I was debating should I do 15 pounds or should I go heavier um, but you'll notice into this about 10 reps in should be coming up here in a minute uh, I have to breathe because I have to do 15 reps of this so it's 15 pounds for 15 reps full ROM um, it, I was feeling it in my shoulders so much 
um, you'll see here that I had to really take a break because I was like, oh yeah, this, this 15 pounds is definitely the right weight. Um, but the whole point is to basically touch the dumbbells at the top, get a full stretch at the bottom, and really control the weight on the way down because um, that's really what gets you the best strength uh, profile on it. Um, so here's, here's actually my last set, um, the last few reps that I did. Uh, my shoulders were burning so badly at this point that it was honestly hard to breathe. Yeah, so with that, guys, sorry for the weirdness of the video. Make sure to trust the process and enjoy the journey. I'll catch you guys later.